Let us open our Bible on Psalms 92, verse 4. Praise the Lord. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. Ayan. So ang Panginoon, gumaw, ginawa niya akong masaya sa pamagitan ng kanyang mga gawa. Ako'y magtatagumpay sa inyong mga gawa ng inyong mga kamay. Kaya aasahan po natin sa ministry na pinagkaloob ng Diyos sa buhay natin, it must be the work of God. It must be the work of the hands of God that will perform it. Siya yung gagawa nito. Praise the Lord! It is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous into our eyes. Kaya, ganun po ang ating magiging uh, kabuuan ng ating pananaw. Sa ngayon, sa unahan, even sa walang hanggan, ang Diyos ang siyang gagawa sa lahat ng ating pagtatagumpay. Kaya, to God be the glory, purihin talaga natin ang Panginoon dahil ang kaligayahan natin nandyan lamang sa Panginoong Diyos. Praise the Lord! Basahin pa natin Psalm 64 verse 10. Praise the Lord! The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in Him and all the upright in heart shall glory. Yes, ang mga matutuwid gagalak sa Panginoon. Sila ay mananalig sa kanya at lahat ng mga matuwid sa puso sila ay luluwal hati. Wala naman tayong ibang pagmamayabang. Wala naman tayong ibang uh, dadakilahin sa nangyayari sa buhay natin. Simula niya tayo iniligtas hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Ay hindi natin kayang bibilangin yung kanyang mga kagilagilalas sa mga gawa. They are innumerable. Uh, works or miracles na na-perform ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya tayo na mga ginawa ng Diyos na righteous, upright, ang ating kagalakan ay nandyan lamang sa Panginoong Diyos. Kasi siya yung gumagawa talaga. But the question is, how long it will take? How long it will last? Hanggang kailan natin ito papakinabangan? Hanggang kailan natin ito maaasahan? Is there any, uh, katulad ba magbili ka ng mga products, mayroong mga expiry dates no, na nakalagay dyan. So, dito sa Panginoon, is there any expiration? Is there any termination of this privilege? Basahin natin. Psalms 104.31 Praise the Lord. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in His works. Yan, ang kanyang kaluwalhatian, ito ay magpapatuloy sa walang hanggan. No termination, no expiration, walang hinto, non-stop. The Lord shall rejoice in His works. Mismo ang Diyos nagagalak sa kanyang mga gawa. Dito sa lupa, doon man sa langit, so, mabuti na tayo naging kabahagi ng Diyos dahil we will be rejoicing together with God. He will make us glad and we will rejoice. Praise the Lord! Ganon ang ating magiging uh, kasaysayan. Alam niyo po, if we are going to ponder or to think or to remember or to meditate the works of the Lord na ginawa niya sa buhay natin, this is amazing. This will make us glad. Uh, magbibigay sa atin ng gladness because hindi natin kayang liripin. Kaya nga sinabi dyan, all the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and of the knowledge of God, how unsearchable are His ways past finding out. Uh, hindi natin kaya. Pero, uh, the, the moment we meditate it, the moment we ponder or we think about it, it's amazing. Praise the Lord. How it was. Paano nangyari? 
and how it will be, paano gagawin pa ng ating Panginoong Diyos. So, itong lahat, uh, God will do it in His pleasure. Gagawin ito ng Diyos sa Kanyang kaligayahan. Kaya, it's sweet to meditate the works of the Lord in our lives. Basahin po natin. Psalms 104.34 Praise the Lord. My meditation of Him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Yes. See? Matamis ang ating pagmunimuni sa Panginoon at siya magpagalak mag, mag, o ako ay gagalak dyan sa Panginoon. Kaya to God be the glory. He is mighty, almighty, He is alive, He is powerful, He is strong, He is ano pang i-describe natin sa Kanya. So we will rejoice in the Lord. Praise the Lord! Uh, mag, mag, magagagalak tayo sa Panginoon. Kaya na, ganito po ka, kabuti na nandito tayo sa Panginoon Diyos. It is the Lord's doing. Siya talaga ang gagawa. Marami pa siyang gagawin ng mga great and mighty things. Kaya nga yung Jeremiah 33.3 Call unto me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things which you do not know hindi nyo pa alam. Uh, meron, katulad sa buhay ni Moses, God knows that they will be crossing the Red Sea. God knows that the enemies will be drawn by that sea. But Moses never know about it. Hindi niya alam. But, tingnan mo anong nangyari. When he called upon the Lord, when he cried upon the Lord, God showed mighty things, terrible things which Moses didn't know. Ganon din sa buhay natin. Praise the Lord. At tumawag lang tayo sa Panginoon. Basahin natin anong gagawin niya. Psalms 126 verse 3. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Ayan. The Lord hath done great things for us. Uh, if we are going to recall which He hath done to us, Talagang, makikita mo talaga. It's really the work of His hands. Kung hindi, this can never be done. This can never be successful. Hindi ito maging successful. Kaya, pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. So, time will come. We will be having our fellowship, our sharing, our testimonies. We, are, we will be talking about the works of God sa buhay natin. Siya yung pupurihin natin, siya yung dadakilahin natin, siya yung ating sasambahin, siya yung ating uh, luluwalhatiin sa lahat ng ating mga pangungusap, sa lahat ng ating uh, sharing, fellowship, we have, to, we have to mention Him, we have to speak about Him. Praise the Lord! Basa pa. Psalms 145, 6-7. seven. Praise the Lord. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. Yes. Men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts. His terrible acts. I will declare thy greatness. His greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, his great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. We will sing his righteousness. Ganon po. Kaya pwede nang sabihin ng Diyos, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Kasi siya yung gagawa, siya yung kikilos. Of course, with that, we have the, the, the part of these works of God because God will use us. Uh, gagamitin tayo ng ating Panginoon Diyos. This is, we, we could say, we are collaborators together with God. See? Kaya sa sanglibutan ito, human work together with God, with the Creator. 
isang malaking ano yan, uh, chance na ipinagkaloob ng Diyos sa atin. And someday, somehow, time will come, He will bring us together into His kingdom. Yun ang reward na ibibigay ng Diyos sa buhay natin. After we have done His will, we shall receive the promise or His promise. And He is faithful that promise. And His promise is eternal life. Praise the Lord. Yun ang gantimpala if we work together with God. So, ang tanong, is there any limitation of the works of God that will be done sa buhay natin? Meron bang limitation ito? Baka maya-maya maging ano ito, skeletal. Ano ko, skeletal? Victory ngayon, next time defeat. Victory naman sunod, next time defeat. Ganun yung skeletal eh. Trabaho ngayon, bukas, walang trabaho. Trabaho na naman next day, the following day, wala naman trabaho. Yan ang skeletal. Sa Diyos, ganun ito kaya? Parang skeletal. Or can God do it continuously, non-stop? Always, all the way, all the time? Magagawa kaya ng Diyos yan? Let's read. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Praise the Lord. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the savor of His knowledge by us in every place. Yes, magagawa niya always the victory. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the savor of His knowledge by us in every place. Always to triumph regardless where it is because it is in every place. Lagi niya tayong bibigyan ng katagumpayan not skeletal. It doesn't matter where it is, saan man ito mangyayari, saan man niya gagawin ito because He can make it everywhere. Walang pinipiling lugar Walang failure. Always we will triumph. Ganon siya kamakapangyarihan. Praise the Lord. Kaya pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus, Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Huwag kayo matakot. Bukas, we, will, we shall fail. Huwag kayo matakot. I can cause you to triumph. Always, anywhere, kahit saan kayo pupunta. Praise the Lord. Uh, yan ang laging paalaala ng Diyos po sa ating buhay. Kaya yung, yung deliverance na binibigay ng Diyos sa kanyang mga lingkod noon, hindi yan nakakalimutan. Grabe ang ginawa ng Diyos. Basahin natin, Psalms 18.50. Praise the Lord. Great deliverance giveth he to his kings and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore. Yes. Not ordinary deliverance that was given to his king. He showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, to his seed forevermore. And this can be done even until our generation and He will do it even forevermore. Kaya ganun po ang Diyos. He is so great. Oh, napakadakila ng Diyos. He has no a limitation. God is able. God is uh, omnipotent, omnipresent. Knowing all things and God could be found anywhere. Saan man. Sa universe na ito. Kaya... Pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Masarap yung mag, mag-usap-usap tayo the, the, about the works of God. No? Wala nang marites kung tawagin because we, we will be talking about His works, about the deliverance, about the provision, about the fulfillment, about the grant, about the victories. Lahat-lahat na. na. Napakarami nating pwedeng pag-usapan. Pasahin natin yan. Psalm 66, 5 and 6. Praise the Lord.
come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There, there did we rejoice in him. Yan. Come, pumarito kayo. At tingnan ang mga gawa ng Diyos. Siya ay terrible sa kanyang gawa sa mga anak ng Diyos, sa kanyang mga anak. Ang ginawa niya, yung dagat, ginawa niyang dry land, and they went, went through the flood on foot. There, there did we rejoice in Him. Oh. See? Kailan nangyari, they went through the flood on foot, yung Jordan River. Kailan nahati yung dagat sa Red Sea. So, terrible things ang pinakita ng Diyos. Great deliverance ang pinakita ng Diyos. So, the same thing also with us. Any challenge that will come upon us, God can do the solution. Praise the Lord. Uh, magawan ito ng Diyos ng solution. Ang instruction ng Diyos sa atin kagabi, come, sabi ng Diyos, unto me, and I will hear your prayer, and I will teach you and tell you all things that you should do. Tinan mo. Si, si Noah, how Noah made the ark. Pumunta pa ba si Noah sa UM, University of Mindanao, to take that course, civil engineering? Pumunta pa ba si Noah sa mga seminars or mga orientation sa mga engineering matters? Wala. It was God who instructed Noah what is the width, what is the height, what is the length, how many story, where the door should be put, saan ilagay ang pintuan, ilang palapag, lahat. What kind of wood he should use, what kind of paste, pang dikit niya, pang glue, pang seal, lahat-lahat na. Ang detalye nandiyan lahat. God gave the instruction. Huh? He gave it to Noah completely. Praise the Lord. Oh. Ano pa? Oh. Lahat na instruction nandiyan na sa kanya. Doon na, 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 ano, na, na, na nahayag na ang animals mas matalino pa sa tao. Because when God asked the people to listen Noah and be saved, they refused to believe because Noah made the ark on the top of the mountain. They thought Noah was insane. Oh. So, anong nangyari? Mas, mas mabuti pa yung mga animals. They went inside naligtas pa sila kahit wala silang kaluluwa. Uh, the most important creature of God sa sanglibutang ito which, which is human being, they despise their creator. They did not believe the servant of God. And this brought them to mass destruction. Yun ang pinaka masaklap. Kaya ganun po, in, wag nating ibuli ang mga ginagamit ng Diyos. Praise the Lord. Last verse, Luke 1.49. Praise the Lord. For he that is might, mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Yan. Yan. Yan yung masasabi natin sa bawat buhay natin. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Ikanya itong lahat gagawa. Gawa ito ng Diyos. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous into our eyes. Then we will be glorifying God, we will be exalting Him, and we will be preaching and declaring the works of God. Let the work of God be uh, appeared. Uh, let the work of the Lord appear unto your servants. And thy glory unto His children. Yan ang ating ministry. Iahayag natin 
yung gawa ng Diyos sa mga tao at ihahayag ng Diyos ito sa ating buhay at yung kalawalhatian ng Diyos which is everlasting glory must be upon the people of the world. That is our um, objective why gumagawa tayo sa gawain ng Diyos. Yan yung objective ng Diyos. His objective is our objective. His mission is our mission. His vision is our vision. Lahat. Sumusunod lang tayo sa Kanya. We are just instruments of God na gagamitin ng Diyos for His glory and for His honor. Kaya itong hinaharap natin na challenge, wag nating kalimutan. It will be the work of God that will do it, that will fulfill it. All we have to do to remain righteous, upright, because this is our privilege before God. And we will be declaring His glory. Di declare natin yung kaluwalhatian ng Diyos. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. Magsitayo po ang lahat.